about a year and a half ago or so, um, and I learned about this event, um, I was really excited about it. And the main reason is because I think it's a unique type of event that puts uh, the early career researchers as a, as a main focus. So it gives them a platform um, to present their works and oral presentations, but also, of course also at poster presentations. And I think this is very important um, because at this, it is at this stage where the early career researchers um, make um, connections to their colleagues and they kind of like start building the network and having this kind of network, you know, th this network will exist throughout your whole um, scientific career and you will benefit a lot by um, learning from um, beyond your individual projects, you broaden your horizon, you get exposed to uh, another uh, set of um, plant science uh, th uh, topics um, and also uh, your colleagues um, can advise you say where to go to which laboratory for your postdoc or which institution is, uh, or university is good to start up your lab. So I think it's, that's very important. And I think the other very interesting aspect is here that um, we have also a lot of PIs involved. So we have uh, this benefit of feedback that experienced researchers can provide to the early career scientist. Um, so they can learn a lot, they can listen, and um, maybe they can be inspired um, by some of the role models. So I think that's very unique uh, of this meeting. The advice would be get as most engaged as you can, you know, um, go to the posters, uh, listen to the talks and get engaged in scientific discussion. In particular during oral presentations, please at the discussion do raise your arm and ask questions. Um, I really encourage uh, young people to do that because there's no such a stupid question. And when you raise your arm, it shows that you're interested and kind of like that you think maybe um, beyond your own research project and, and it shows just that you're really engaging with the scientific community. Do engage and discuss with, um, with the experienced researchers, even ask them for advice, ask them um, where is a good uh, university or laboratory that you can go on to progress in your research for your next position. And I also would, beyond that scientific discussion, strongly encourage get involved in social events, you know, over a glass of wine or a beer, you know, that's where you have suddenly the inspiring idea that can really be important to um, make your successful career and drive your research. So I think that's, that's my advice to, to the early career scientists. I think it was nature itself. I really loved when I was a little kid observing um, plants and um, also observing that plants could be infected. So I got curious and I got curious, um, are, are there differences in a leaf? Um, are they, how, how do they defend against, uh, against um, pathogens? Because some plants were infected and some plants not. So I think that it's that curiosity that got me really uh, into research. And so what, I'm, what my nature is, I really want to understand uh, mechanisms, I want to take things apart, and I want to um, yeah, figure out how things work, how plants uh, communicate with pathogens. And we all know that pathogens um, populate or microbes populate um, a lot of the intracellular space in the leaf. So what I'm particularly interested is um, uh, what's happening at the cell biology level at this kind of like barrier between the membrane um, of the host cell to, to allow communication um, with, with microbes. It was just to be at the right time, amazingly, when this whole joint, um, uh, when the fields joined of having the kind of like elicitor type defense responses together with the um, classical R gene um, type um, resistance responses in the plant and was really a fantastic time uh, to do my postdoc there. If you're passionate about your research, um, just be independent and follow your ideas and follow them even, you know, if your PI sometimes says uh, don't do this but rather focus on this direction, you PIs normally are convinced by data. So just keep on going, uh, follow your ideas, be independent and maybe your idea is not um, 
going towards a mainstream um, scientific path, but um, it's going to be more a different route of uh, direction of travel. But in future, uh, that may be the new arising uh, research area that then you have pioneered. So I would say strongly keep and follow up your ideas, keep being strong. And I wish all the early career researchers uh, good success in, in their careers.